Hi, this is Maganathan. I'm working as a mechanical design engineer in the Spyro Solution Project Limited. Now I'm going to explain the concept. Pneumatic Mobile Crane. The main objective of this project is to avoid manpower effect during the time of low transmission. Um, metal handling purpose. In the metal handling purpose, uh, we need to avoid human effort. So, in, in the situation, we are introducing this project for that load carrying purpose. This is the basic layout of this project. The system consists of um, compressor and a direction control valve, which one will be operated with the help of solenoid and then double acting cylinders and a motor setup with the ropes and pulleys, which one helps to pull, the, pull and lift the weights. And uh, the system is totally operated by operated like an electronic control unit. Uh, we can control the movement with the help of electronic control unit because the wheels will be controlled by separate motors. And uh, whenever we want to lift some materials and uh, bring it, uh, transmit from one place to another place, we need to switch on the motor like uh, uh, which, one, which one will be operated by DC supply. And uh, whenever the solenoid gets actuated, it will direct the air, air flow from the compressor to double acting cylinder. From the compressor to double acting cylinder. Uh, if you want to lift the weight, that time solenoid 2 will be activated so that uh, the air flow will be changing direction to change the cylinder direction upwards. In case if you want to reduce the height so, so that we need to switch on the solenoid one so that the air, air direction will be changed so the cylinder will, will be acting as a return stroke so it will come down and uh, one more thing the DC motor it will it will be coupled with the pulley so that whenever the motor is running that time the rope will come down and uh, hook the object and then uh, the motor will pull the object from the base and uh, and then we need to operate the wheel so that we can move the carry the object from one place to another place this is how the project works thank you